Okay, let's look at the characteristics of the functions. If it's a linear, is it increasing or decreasing? <laughs> well, it's both. It's, sorry, it's only either either or. So it's always going up or always going down and either increasing or decreasing. But there's one exception, and that is the horizontal line. A horizontal line is the exception. It just doesn't go up. It doesn't go down. So what about for a quadratic? Does it go up or down? Well, it does both for every function. Because first it goes up, then it goes down, or first it goes down, and then it goes up. So this is the only one that has like both up and down on the same function for both of them. The exponential function, we know that it's always increasing, or it's always decreasing. Right? And that's kind of a very interesting uh, feature of the exponential function. Always increasing or always decreasing. Domain and range. Okay. The domain for all of them is x belongs to the real numbers. x belongs to real numbers for all the functions. Linear goes forever to left to right. Quadratic goes forever from left to right. Exponential goes forever from left to right. Except for one. And the linear, if any vertical line, that would be an exception because that only has like one value for the domain. Okay, jumping to the range. The range for the lines, it goes up and down forever and ever for all of them, except for except for a horizontal line. Horizontal lines only have one value for range. And quadratics. So the range, it depends. It's going to be y. It's not x specifically being y. So if it's like this, then the highest value would be k, right? And therefore, y is less than k. If it opens up, k would be at the bottom, so y would be bigger than k, and y belongs to the real numbers. And for the exponential functions, at least for the basic ones, they're always above zero. So we're going to say that uh, y belongs to the real number such that y is greater than zero. Greater than zero. Greater than zero, not equal to zero because it never reaches. y intercepts. Does every line have a y intercept? Eventually, they're going to cross the the uh, y intercept the y axis except for one exception and that's the vertical line and the vertical line has two exceptions one if it's outside like if it's the vertical line is here it never touches it but if the vertical line is right on the line it's got infinite number of y intercepts and that's a pretty curious situation y intercept for quadratics yes it will always cross and for exponential function, yes, it only has one. And funny enough, they all cross at one, all the basic ones, because any number to the power of zero is equal to one. X-intercepts, well, all lines will cross the x-intercepts one time, and except for a horizontal line. And again, if it's above the x-axis, never going to cross it. It's below the x-axis, never going to cross it. If it is the x-axis, it's every single point, infinite x-intercepts, because that's the one. Quadratic, we know we can have uh, three different cases. And that is, it can cross it two, two times. It can cross it just once, so it just touches. Or it never crosses. And it has none of them. And for exponential function, at least for the basic one, it's none. It never reaches the x-axis. Does it have a max or a min? Well, for lines that go up forever and down forever, so there's no max or min, the only exception is the horizontal line. And that's a weird exception because there's only one value, so that one value is the maximum and the minimum. For quadratics, yes, they have either a max or a min. And for exponential ones, there's no... There's no max and there's no min. It goes up forever and ever, and it goes down closer and closer to zero, always, always going down, down, down to zero, but never reaching it. So we can actually not say, we know it does not reach zero, but we do not know what the lowest value is because it never reaches and it keeps on going down and down and down forever. And that still bothers me to this day.